Hi, in this third video, I want to show you a slightly more extensive example. We're going to look at a bar chart for two categorical variables, and then we're going to add a control variable. So we're going to look at uh, whether people that are union members are, have higher levels of political interest. So first we choose this the bar chart here from this list. And then we first make a univariate graph of our dependent variable. So we select political interest. And we get a univariate graph like we had in the first video. And I also showed in the first video how you can change the labels a bit and the title. I won't do that right now. I will do that with the final graph. So when we have two categorical variables in a bar chart, we can use coloring to use the second variable. So I'm going to go to the group category here, the, the color, and I select um, the union membership variable, which is nearly at the bottom. There we go. So you see, we have now the three categories, members, former members, or never a member. Um, we have the political interest categories. Um, the labels are a bit long, but we can rotate them. We know that already. We can click on rotate text and it becomes more readable. And then we see the three colors in each chart. Now it is a little bit difficult here to see the trend separately for each color. So instead of what they call a stacked bar position, we can use a dodged bar position. So now you can see separately the trend for the green, for the blue, and for the red. And you can see whether union members have higher levels. So union members are here the red and green, and they have probably slightly higher levels of interest, um, whereas the never, those that never were a member, they are more on the right. So we can download this figure first. We change the labels again, the title. We can download this, and we have our bivariate graph. And now we want to look whether it makes a difference whether we have urban or rural residents. So we use a facet to split this plot in two. And we select the urban variable here. And now you see we get two plots, two times the same plot, where we can see if the relationship that we see here also holds here. If we see the same relationship, then this control variable does not change our uh, relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. But if we do not see the same pattern, then the control variable matters. So here we have our final plot, and now let's make some proper labels. So we can change this label to political interest. That looks a little bit better. We can change the label here to something like frequency or count. We can add a title. We can see uh, levels of political interest um, for union members. And then we can click on download the figure. So download PDF or figure. We decide where to save it. And we say chart, bar chart for union and interest. Save. And we have our plot.